Hi everybody, Sue Bilke here again. And this is the second in my two-part series of speaking about imperfection and allowing ourselves to be imperfect. And I wanted to bring these two videos out at the same time because there's been a new thing awakening in me that I wanted to share with all of you since the last video. So watch them in order. I'm wearing a white sweater in the other one, a white turtleneck sweater. So watch that one first. And then right after that, I had uh, an awakening of sorts. I had a goddess group that I was having to the house, and I have it every month. And every month, I drive myself to distraction, trying to make this place uh, perfect. And I live out in the woods. I Things get dirty. Things get dusty. And I go crazy trying to make the house perfect. Even after knowing all of this stuff, I want you to understand that I've been working on these concepts for a long time, and I still find myself in the mix of, of losing my mind, going to sleep. And so I wanted to share that with you so that you cut yourself some slack as you're moving through this. Now, I want to share with you what's happening right now as I'm making this video. I have a cat right here who's playing with plastic bags. I have a dog who's wanting to go outside. Everybody decided to, to get up and start playing with each other the minute I want to start talking to you. Isn't that the way life is? And so I'm going to be right back. I'm going to take care of these guys, and I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm back. It must be what it's like to have children. Anyway, what has been awakening for me since that last video and really becoming awake to where I make myself crazy and where I don't allow myself to be human, um, this this opportunity sprung up. I think the universe just says, okay, you think you got it put together? Here, try this. And so I'm having these women over for my, for my uh, monthly goddess gathering. I'm making myself crazy. And the very first thing that we do when we get together is to check in. What are we feeling? Where are we mentally, physically, and spiritually? And what do we need to let go of in order to be fully present? And I realized after making the last video and showing all of you my imperfection and becoming awake to, to wanting to free myself from this, that what I needed to let go of was the idea that I had to make my house perfect to have guests over. Now, how many of you are going through that right now as you're putting together, together your Thanksgiving dinner? How many of you are thinking, oh my goodness, my family's going to be here. I have to make the perfect holiday. I have to make the stuffing just right. If I don't, the aunt will go nuts or my mother will have, a, have her, her say with me or whatever it is. So, what one of these women that I just dearly love said to me when I got real with that with them, I said, I have to let go of the idea that my house has to be perfect in order for you guys to come here. I know you all love me. I know that if my house is messy, you'll love me anyway. That it's not about you guys. It's about me and my need to feel safe and my need to be okay. And she said, do you know what I felt when I walked in the house? Was you made this place a temple for us. I could feel the love that you put into your home so that it was a nice space for us to come to. And she really opened my eyes to where we can find some peace in this holiday season which is, yeah, clean your house, prepare the dinners, but do it from a place of creating love for those who are coming into your home. 
and let that be the guiding force. Just like I've said before, I believe, um, when you're getting dressed, rather than getting dressed so that you feel pretty, so that you th ha think other people will think you look pretty, is dressing in a way that will be an inspiration to other people, like you're a beautiful gift that you're giving to the world. Give the gift of a finely wrapped present, you know? And the same thing can be for your house. As you welcome people into your house, don't worry if the throw pillows are not where they're supposed to be. And don't worry about dust on, you know, the, the liquor cabinet and all of that craziness that we go through. But instead, taking a deep breath and welcoming and connecting with each person as they come in the door and, and saying to them, I'm so happy to have you here. And please come in and let's have a beautiful holiday together. They're not going to care about what's going on with the dust bunnies under your bed. They don't care if you connect with your heart. And I'm so grateful for that woman in my group to say that to me because it makes such a huge difference. Now this will be my practice. And I'll let you know how it goes. On the second Sunday, I have my group come over here. And my intention, and I'm speaking it out loud to all of you, my intention is to create a temple for them to walk into where we can practice deeply and we can connect. And I'll just see where that takes me because I know that it's taken me a whole different place when it comes to getting dressed. You know, dressing myself in a way that will be an inspiration to other women and an inspiration to men um, has made a huge difference in the way I walk in the world. And now I'm going to take it to the next level of presenting my home in that same way. So I wanted to just bring that to light this this holiday season and to wish you all the very most love you can possibly receive this holiday and uh, to give thanks for all of you listening to me on these videos. It means so much to me. I enjoy doing them and knowing that there's somebody out there listening to them, it just, it makes me very thankful. So that's what I'm thankful for this Thanksgiving season. If you want to let me know, oh, that would be great fun. Let me know how your Thanksgiving has shifted with this way of thinking and, uh, and your Christmas. It would be really fun for me to know that. So um, get in touch with me on my website. It is www.suebilka-personalcoach.com. And uh, write me how it went. If you had any um, anxiety, any trip-ups, or that sort of thing that you want to go into and understand more about, please get in touch with me and we can schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment. So um, I do Skype as well. So if you're not in my area, not to worry. I Skype. So I'm getting pretty savvy on this computer thing. Enjoy your Thanksgiving, and we'll talk to you very soon. I love you much. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye now.